Somebody posted a little sticker on the lamppost right where I parked, and it says, Violet is an anagram of love it. And I was thinking that will be the next cardboard sign that I make. Well, that person who made that sticker, somebody put it up, it was up there for a couple of weeks. I saw it. I made, it totally changed my whole installation here, you know? So it's like a gesture of communication. It's like, nothing's gonna last forever. I guess it's the same as the work that I'm making here, actually. I'm Austin Sigemeyer, and I'm a visual artist residing in this beautiful city. It's been, has it been six months since I started the project? Half a year consumed by drawing on cardboard, making garbage art. When I started drawing the shopping carts, and then I started to think about panhandling signs, and then I saw a documentary about vintage sign painters, it really clicked with something for me because it was like these two opposite worlds that I could kind of put together. Vintage sign painters, the way they talked about craft, really appealed to me, you know, the slick lettering. And we were driving by and I just thought, oh, wouldn't it be sweet if you like redid one of their signs and made some sharp looking typography? When I found out that I got this uh, installation, it was perfect because I had been thinking about what to do with the cards, and it didn't seem to make sense to put them in a gallery, you know, and try to sell them. And then it just hit me when I was looking at the window, I was like, here's the rough, and then this side's perfectly clean, and people from all different walks of life will walk by this window, and if they see me coming in and out, they want to come up and talk to you, and it kind of like fosters that communication. Maybe it's something that people feel like is ugly to look at, but then I feel like there's these moments in the work where you twist that and you twist somebody's perception about it. I see the beauty in the cards when I draw them. That's why I drew them, because I think they're beautiful and they're interesting and engaging. And I saw that first one as a sculpture and it made me want to draw it. And then in the drawings, there's some beauty. Ordinarily, I think the average person would walk past and be like, oh, that's street grunge, that's trash. West Central Recycled. Well, hopefully the piece is like a reflection of our society. And that's been a really awesome and beautiful metaphor coming out of this piece that I did not see coming. The moment when it dawned on me, okay, there's this half of the window and this half of the window, and there's these two splits. So then I can use this one part of the window as a metaphor for the bottom of society, the, the underdog, the misunderstood, the ostracized, the poor, or anybody who kind of is marginalized and doesn't fit in in, in kind of whatever aspect, and then the other half being the other side of it. They tore down the, the sticker off the hole over here. I guess that's the gamble that you have to take, you know? To take a risk and put something out there, just like that person did with the sticker, you know? Whoever put that up, they put up a little piece and they shared it with somebody and it was up for a certain amount of time, but it meant something to somebody, right? And that is the important part. So hopefully this is like that.